everybody, it's Nikki, and I'm here to do part three of my Mini Med 670G um, Tandem T Slim X2 comparison. Um, I've gotten through the physical pump, kind of the buttons and screen and all that. I've gotten through alerts, um, which is basically just to tell people I have no idea what's happen <laughs> happening in my world um, and that there's always something going off. And now I'm on to the delivery um, and kind of what options are available between the two pumps right now. This to me is interesting. I think it's probably interesting to all diabetics because it's how we get our um, insulin. Um, so I will start with auto mode because that's kind of like the big name, you know, and all of them. And that's the one right now that is the newest um, until Control IQ comes out, which is happening hopefully in the next couple months. Um, okay, and I'll tell you, I've made 158 videos or 358 videos, whatever, about kind of auto mode and trying to get it to do something and it just I could not get it to work um I am not alone and not being able to get it to work I all there also are people who can um and who do like it I think that there are a whole lot of um variables including everything from kind of like what kind of control you have um how much you understand how much you're willing to I mean whether or not you're willing to help auto mode um What's your ex your expectations, your standards, your uh, lifestyle? I mean, there's a million things that are gonna uh, contribute to what you get out of auto mode, um, and I think the only way really to figure out whether or not you are going to do well or not is probably to go into it. Um, so that's it. But I will say that I I did my time. I really really did, and I did it every way possible. And in the end, it was absolutely just not gonna work for me. Um, so um, <clears throat> that was automated, and I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail. Basically, it is an automated delivery that uses your, um, that's kind of a mystery. The algorithm's a, a big fat mystery, um, but it's supposed to use your, uh, your trend, your, your, current, your current SG trend, um, your current SG value, what, how much insulin you have on board, the history of your, your uh, insulin delivery, so on and so forth, and it's supposed to determine how much insulin you need or if you need any at all um, every five minutes, and it gives you in the form of a microbolus, or as I said, no microbolus. Um, that's how it works. The And I'll say this about Control IQ in a second, is that there is one difference, one uh, what I think is a very critical difference between the two, um, and it has to do with how much they use your actual basal rate, your programmed basal rate, how much they take that take that into consideration as um, you know in determining what you're gonna get and according to Medtronic it doesn't really use that um, and according to you know whatever the new information is on control IQ, IQ and what's coming out um, they say that it it does use that so that's a difference um, and I'll talk about that again in a second um, okay so auto mode that's one option. Manual mode with smart guard suspends. That's another option. Um, and then the manual mode just as a dumb pump, no sensor, no suspends. Um, that's actually my favorite option for the 670G. Um, but smart guard with, with uh, sorry, manual mode with smart guard suspends. <clears throat> Again, I'm not going to say this is terrible because it wasn't not, it really wasn't as bad as, um, sorry, my, <laughs> That's my cat. Um, okay, it really wasn't as bad as auto mode for me. Um, however, it really wasn't, it wasn't great. I mean, the suspends are just too long in manual mode for me. Again, I'm talking about 670G. Um, and I will say that for, and I've looked at this. I actually did another video where I, where I compared wearing both sensors, um, what the suspends look like on the T-Slim versus the 670G. And the T-Slim kind is just more fluid. Um, they, it uses shorter suspends, um, and the, the manual mode tends to put me in these long block suspends, and it doesn't easily come out of them. Um, my T-Slim easily comes out of a suspend, even if it's to just give me five minutes of insulin and then to go back in. Um, but if you think about it, if it's doing that every five minutes, then I'm getting 50% of my insulin rather than you know 10% of my insulin. Um, the, so I'll just compare the two right now. Um, what I've seen the 670G do is basically when it sees I'm starting to drop, um, it will just turn off the insulin. And even after it appears, first of all, the lag is huge for me. And I'll talk about that too. 
um, it really prevents my insulin from turning back on my, I mean, my pump from turning back on my insulin time. But in addition to that, even after it's reflected that I'm beginning to rise again, and this is what I don't understand, it oftentimes still remains off. My insulin remains off. Um, and then sometimes I do turn around and start to dip again. So, I mean, sometimes you've got these things going in and it ends up, I'm sitting on two hours of no insulin and inevitably I have a rise. Um, and inevitably I have a big rise. I mean, these aren't like little rises. Like sometimes I hit 300 or 350, you know, it's, um, they're big rises and I feel like I just need my pump to give me a little bit more consistently my insulin. Um, same premise like I feel like T-Slim is kind of working off the same premise but it just does it a little bit better and there is a small a small recognizable difference and that is that the T-Slim will resume your insulin at the first sign that your sensor value is higher than your last sensor value so these are five minutes apart so as soon as if my if my last sensor value was a 68 and now I'm at 69 um, then it turns back on my insulin as I said, the 670G does not do that. So even if I'm rising from a 50 and I'm now at a 79, um, it oftentimes still keeps that insulin off. And in reality, with that lag, that 79 often is 130, you know, or 140. Um, so it's blocky versus kind of this more fluid um, delivery. The other major, major difference is that I have more options with the T-Slim Suspends, with the, with the Basal IQ. I'm talking about Basal IQ here. Um, I have more options with Basal IQ, and that is anytime I want to give myself a bolus, I can go ahead and give myself a bolus. Um, it does override that current suspend, but as long as Basal IQ determines that I'm still below the requirements to turn the insulin back on, at the next reading, it will suspend my insulin again. Um, in the beginning, that made me nervous, but that was because I was used to the 670G with those really horrendously long um, you know, blocks of insulin, no insulin. Um, what I've learned is that that's kind of, that kind of works well with me and my disease. Um, it's okay if I wanna jump in and give myself a unit of insulin because I am treating a low blood sugar but I also know that I've had 30 minutes of a suspend and I know that I am going to rebound and I want to get that insulin on board. I can go ahead and jump out of my suspend, give myself a bolus. And if it determines I need to go back into the suspend um, at the next reading, it puts me back in. Um, that's very fluid. Um, the 670G, if I override it for any reason, if I determine I need a little bit of insulin to cover that rise that's going to be coming in 15 minutes, um, then that's it. It knocks out the suspend and it knocks out the suspend feature for anywhere between 30 minutes and four hours, I think. Um, so it's harsh and it feels more um, rigid. It feels like either you're going to let it do whatever it's going to do, um, you know, or you're out. Like that's it. Um, whereas the T-Slim, it does feel like I can make some choices, like we're gonna to work together on this. You know, it's gonna be up to me if I wanna, if I wanna override, if I don't really like this, and then if you disagree at the next reading, you can put me back in it again. And between the two of us, we're gonna make sure that I'm slowing down the insulin, but I'm not going without. I guess that's what it is. Um, eight and a half minutes, okay, but this is, this is a really important one. So basically on 670G, you have auto mode, which is the automated delivery. You have manual mode, which is not, it's not adjusting your, um, it's not adjusting your basal rates in any way. Um, as auto mode, there is no basal rates. It's a, you know, it's, okay, it's not adjusting your basal rates. It's only suspending insulin where it feels like you need um, to be suspended. And that is comparable to the basal IQ on um, the T-Slim, which also is not, it's not calculating your insulin for you. It's not adjusting anything. It's just responding to trends with suspense. Um, they, both pumps also offer just the manual mode or, you know, uh, I guess it's just the T-Slim without, with the basal IQ turned off. Um, I think that's what they would refer to as a dumb pump. Um, I will tell you that my absolute favorite way to use the 670G was as a dumb pump. Um, I did like the suspends overnight, the smart guard suspends. I did like those overnight. Those were nice. I did have to 
I did have to um, accommodate for what it had done overnight as soon as I got up in the morning because a lot of times it gave me, you know, very little. But that can be true in T-Slim too, that a lot of times I get um, just a big, you know, one hour or hour and a half block of no insulin right as I'm getting ready to get up in the morning. And I have to keep that in mind and sometimes give myself a little extra insulin in my coffee. <laughs> Not in my coffee, but with my coffee. Um Okay, and I'll also say that, um, I'm not going to say it. I think that that's it. I think that's a pretty good control IQ. Oh, I, was, I, am, I will say. Oh, I was going to say. Okay, control IQ. Um, about control IQ, your guess is as good as mine. A healthy part of me says that there's no way this is going to work either because it's not far off from what Automo does. Um, and Automo doesn't do things well for me. Um, it's still the same thing. It's responding to a trend. It's suspending your insulin. It's increasing your insulin when, when you're trending upward. Um, but that's kind of the way they both work. Like Again, the same premise. Then there's part of me that says, but maybe it will work because both basal IQ and manual mode with suspends are the same premise. Um, but one works way better. So maybe, that is, maybe that's possible here too. Um, I also think that the T-Slim is working for me, not for everybody, but for me, it's working with a better sensor. Um, there's less lag, it's more accurate. It's closer, it's a closer reflection to what my actual blood sugar is. Um, so it's, it's got a better shot at making sure I'm getting the insulin I need. Whereas my 670G, if it's always running behind, then that means I'm going long stretches where I need insulin. It just doesn't know it. Um, so that's got to help it. And that will help with control IQ as well. Um, I hit on it for quickly, but I'll say one last time that that big difference though is in that the 670G auto mode does not use your manual mode basal rate settings as part of the algorithm. From what they have said about it, it's kind of like loosely considered, um, <clears throat> but nothing is based on it. So you could increase all of your basal settings for auto mode, and it supposedly will not affect what you get in auto mode. Um, this is a huge difference because what they said it, with the control IQ is that it does model itself off of what you're getting in your basal uh, settings and it will adhere to that as long as you haven't given it reason to stray. Um, so so if you are in the middle of your day and your blood sugar is stable and you're not eating, you're not exercising, um, it's going to give you your, your basal rate. Um, that's not true at all for auto mode and it was one of the most frustrating things about it was that I could be you know sitting at a 95 um, and I'm collecting no insulin. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm getting maybe 10% of what I would normally be getting. Um, and then in the next hour, I'm getting 240% of what I would normally be getting. And that was frustrating because I don't need that. I just, I need my basal rate until I don't. And that's what Control IQ is supposedly going to be doing. So that would be great. Okay. I'm tearing through this. I got uh, one, maybe two more videos, and then I'm done. So thanks for watching. Bye.